Welcome to Peace Health and Wellness Channel. This is dedicated to helping you navigate your health and wellness needs regardless of your current health status. In today's video, we will discuss pap smear in women. A pap smear, also known as a pap test, is a screening test used to detect abnormalities in the cervix, which is the lower part of the uterus that opens into the vagina. Pap smears are typically recommended for women starting at age 21, or within three years of becoming sexually active, whichever comes first. After that, they are typically recommended every three years for women with normal results. The frequency can also be determined by your history and your doctor's recommendation. The most critical stage to get this done is between 30 to 45 years. Regular pap smears are an important part of preventive healthcare for women, as they help detect cervical cancer in its early stages when it is most treatable. Here are some important things to know about pap smears. Pap smear is free with most insurances and can also be done at low cost in some doctor's offices for patients with no insurance. The procedure itself is usually quick and painless and can be done by a gynecologist or other healthcare provider during a routine pelvic exam. It is important to avoid douching, using tampons, having sex, or using vaginal medications or creams for at least 24 hours before a pap smear, as these activities can affect the accuracy of the results. Here's what you can expect during a pap smear. You'll need to undress from the waist down and lie on your back on the exam table with your feet in stirrups. Your healthcare provider will insert a speculum into your vagina to hold it open so that they can see your cervix. They will use a small brush or spatula to collect a sample of cells from your cervix. The sample will be sent to a lab for analysis. Sometimes there could be a discharge which could indicate yeast infection, bacterial vaginitis, or even sexually transmitted infections, which you might not have any clue you have until these tests are performed. Here are some things to keep in mind when preparing for a pap smear. Let your healthcare provider know if you are on your period, as this can make the test more difficult to interpret. After your pap smear, your healthcare provider will let you know when to expect your results. If your pap smear results come back abnormal, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have cancer. There are many other possible causes of abnormal pap smear results, such as infection or inflammation. Your healthcare provider will work with you to determine the appropriate next steps, which may include further testing, monitoring, or treatment. It's important to get regular pap smears as part of your preventive healthcare. Your healthcare provider can help determine how often you should have a pap smear based on your age and other factors. If you have any questions or concerns about pap smears, be sure to talk to your healthcare provider. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos.